do uh, the lesson on taking your expression and creating a graph from it. You'll see that what I have here on the board is I've got uh, a graph up here in this area. And I've also got an input output table here. And I've also got my expression. Now, when we're graphing our expressions, the best place to start is my input output table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that my input values are my x values. So that's a number that's going to get put directly into the equation. Then my output is what I get after I put that number in there. So I may as well start at one and work my way up. And so for this example, I'm just going to do four numbers. So if I take a one and put into my equation, I've got two times one plus one. And that gives me two times one is two plus one is three. If I put a two in there, it turns out to be a five. A three in there, I get a seven. And four, well, two times four is eight, plus one is nine. So you may be thinking, well, how that, does that help me? Well, this actually gives you coordinates for your grid. So what we're going to do is we always have to have an axis on our graphs. So I'm going to put these in place right now. And of course, these axes have names. So the one that goes across the page are x values, and the ones that go up and down the page are y values. So our input output table actually is a set of coordinates. And what it tells me is that when I'm in the first position on my graph, the expression tells me what my y value has to be. And so if I were to label my, gr my grid properly, and I'm just going to go up to 10 on this example. So this tells me when my x value is 1, that my y value has to be 3. So at x is 1, I could be anywhere on this line. So that's why it's important to have my y value, because it tells me, well, on this line, I need to stop at 3, and I can put a dot there. When I'm at 2, my dot goes at y equals 5. When I'm at 3, my dot goes up to the 7 line. When I'm at 4, it goes up to the line with the 9. Now, you'll notice that this also gives me another straight line. And it's important that we join our dots and we can extend them in either direction to give ourselves an, an idea of what this line or this pattern actually does. So this expression is what we call a linear expression because it does make a straight line. 